Brownout detection, BOD, is a handy feature in many microcontrollers and electronic devices designed to safeguard against low voltage conditions. Essentially, it keeps an eye on the power supply voltage and, if it dips below a certain level, it steps in to reset the device or take other actions to prevent glitches or data corruption. In this video, we will focus exclusively on the brownout detection of the 8Mega328P microcontroller used in Arduino boards. Arduino boards with the 8Mega328P are configured to use a 16MHz oscillator, which is essentially a ceramic resonator with a built-in load capacitance. According to the datasheet, to operate at a speed of 16 MHz, a voltage of 4.5 to 5.5 volts is required. If you are using an Atmega 328 in an application where precise timing is critical and the voltage drops below 4.5 V, you may experience disruptions in your code. While it can still function at 4 volts for simple tasks like flipping a switch based on sensor input, Voltages below 4 volts can cause the Arduino to behave abnormally. The CPU may start to execute instructions incorrectly, leading to unexpected activity on the internal data and control lines. This could result in the corruption of CPU registers, I.O. registers, and data memories. As I mentioned earlier, the 8Mega328 needs at least 4.5 volts to operate at 16 MHz. If you check the Arduino Uno board's text file, you'll see that the BOD for the 8Mega328 is set to 2.7 volts. I'm not quite sure why it's set to that value instead of 4.3 volts. To protect the 8Mega328 from low voltage scenarios, we have a couple of options. First, we can change the BOD to 4.3 by adjusting the extended fuse value in the boards.txt file. After that, we just need to burn the bootloader to the target device. Alternatively, we can use external brownout protection, which we can either design ourselves or use dedicated integrated circuits made for this purpose. In this video, I'll be using an undervoltage sensing circuit called the MC34064. This integrated circuit is designed for monitoring voltage levels and systems to prevent them from falling below a critical threshold. It continuously checks the voltage of a power supply line. When the voltage drops below a specified level, the MC34064 identifies this as an undervoltage scenario. In response, it sends a reset signal. This signal can be used to reset microprocessors or other digital circuits within the system. To use the MC34064 under voltage sensing IC with an Arduino, you need to connect it to the Arduino's power supply and reset pin. The LED I use demonstrates the Arduino's operation under both normal and abnormal conditions. The lab DC power supply provides 6.3 volts, which is regulated down to 5 volts by the Arduino's onboard regulator. This Arduino system voltage is monitored by the IC. If the voltage drops to 4.59 volts below the threshold, the reset pin is pulled low, putting the Arduino into a halt state. This will stop the Arduino from executing code, causing the LED to stop blinking. The MC34064 continuously monitors the voltage levels. When it detects that the voltage has exceeded the recovery threshold of 4.61 volts, it makes the reset pin high. This allows the microcontroller to restart its normal processes, ensuring that everything runs smoothly again. Consequently, the LED will start blinking again. This provides a built-in hysteresis of 0.02 volts. I use two MC34064 ICs with an Arduino for external brownout detection. One IC is configured as a BOD alert and the other as a BOD reset. 
The BOD alert IC monitors the Arduino's input voltage and allows you to set its threshold level with an adjustable resistor. Instead of resetting the Arduino, it triggers an external alert to notify you of a brownout condition before the Arduino resets. The BOD reset circuit monitors the system voltage of the Arduino. If it detects a drop below the set threshold, it pulls the reset line low, causing the Arduino to reset. This prevents the Arduino from operating under undervoltage conditions. After the voltage returns to a level above the reset threshold, the reset line is released. The Arduino resumes normal operation, having been reset due to the undervoltage condition. The BOD alert will keep generating an alert if the voltage remains below its set threshold, independent of the Arduino's reset state. Once the voltage stabilizes and exceeds the BOD alert's threshold, the alert condition will clear, stopping the alert signal. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use the MC3464IC, not just with Atmega328 microcontrollers, but with any device that operates between 4.5 to 5 volts. I've also created a simulation model of this low voltage sensor IC for Proteus projects. You can download the Proteus model and schematics from my website. If you have any suggestions or feedback about this video, please leave a comment. There are more libraries available for download on my website, electronicstreet.com. If you have any requests for Arduino module libraries in Proteus, please leave a comment.